Riding into Terror by Space Ace. I just rode my whole own horse straight into the town of Happydale, Arizona, and placed my four-legged friend in front of the local saloon, where I had just discovered that a certain venomous rattlesnake known as Jesse James was sitting in there with his entire gang, enjoying himself like he has nothing he has done nothing wrong in his whole life. And as soon as I had gotten into myself off of my horse and taken a good enough look at Jesse James laughing his full head off, I had pulled my six gun out of its holster and checked it to make sure it was fully loaded. Before I placed it back inside the holster, stepping into the saloon. But as soon as I sat myself down on the stool at the bar and I was about to order a drink for myself, one of Jesse's drunken gang members had stood up and turned his bloodshot eyes towards me and yelled at a really high voice, Hey Jesse, look here, who's here? That slimy backstabbing snake Jed. Callahan, what are you doing here, Jed? Trying to get your grimy hands on the bounty that even the, every marshal in the entire West has pl placed on Jesse's head? Because if you are, then you might as well get yourself ready for one hell of a shootout. Right here and now. But then as soon as that one drunken me gang member had pulled a gun from his holster out of its holster and slowly pulled back the hammer of his thumb with his thumb. He was about to aim his gun. Aim that gun of his straight at me and pull the trigger to have me quickly pull my gun out of the holster. Turn myself around and shoot the stupid stinking drunk straight in the heart. And after that, one drunken member of Jesse James' gang had dropped himself down to the floor of the saloon and laid his, their dead one. One of the girls who were willing to sell themselves for money to all the fellows inside the saloon had turned her angry eyes towards me and let out a gr loud, inhuman growl before she had let, let fur to grow hair all over her body, sprouting fangs out of her mouth and claws out of her fingers. Then, after she had done, had let out a terrifying howl that had caused everyone inside that very saloon to clear out of there. I had looked at the eyes of that frickin' werewolf and noticed how totally ticked off it was. I had let out a small devilish smile and said, Howdy, darling. Care to dance? And of course, that had caused the werewolf to let out a bloodthirsty growl and lunge itself at me towards me. I had taken a second gun out from behind my back and shot that critter, critter five times before it had dropped down on the floor, changed back into that human girl, and died before I closed my eyes and said, Now, that bounty is mine. 